President Joe Biden will keep up the pace of confirming a diverse set of judicial nominees, with Democrats retaining the Senate. Setting the stage for Biden to reach his cornerstone achievement of reforming the judiciary. As Republicans appear favored to take control of the House, Biden's legislative agenda for Congress could be on hold. But with Democrats in control of the Senate, the party will be guaranteed to make confirmations of Biden's judicial nominees. Democrats may possibly even reach 51 seats when the Georgia Senate race heads to a runoff. Before the midterm elections, progressives urged Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin to move quickly to confirm more of Biden's outstanding nominees. He feared that Republicans could gain back control of the Senate and bring confirmations to a crawl for the next two years. Biden's judiciary progress won't falter if his party fails to change the 50-50 split in the Senate, which has been settled by Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote for the past two years. Though, a win for the party in Georgia would give the Democrats a 51-49 edge in the chamber and give them an added buffer. If Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski is able to win her upcoming ranked choice runoff election in Alaska, she could provide an additional buffer for Biden's judicial nominees. She has voted to confirm the majority of her selections thus far, including his Supreme Court nominee, Justice Kintaji Brown Jackson.